Hi, everybody. It's been a while. Um, and I came back because I was inspired, like, I need to be here right now to share this with you. So here's a story. Okay, it all starts with this box. Okay, well, it doesn't start with this box. It starts with me uh, roaming my local fruit market slash grocery store. And they have like specialty items, things from like Eastern Europe and the Middle East and just like imported stuff. So I was looking through the cake mix aisle and I found this. I, I really, I was just on the way to the mint, but then it caught my eye and I'm like, box tiramisu? What is this? This was the last one. And I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. And it was a weird decision, but now we're here. I like tiramisu, but I've never even made tiramisu from scratch. And now I'm gonna make box tiramisu. And like, is it gonna be good? I don't know. So here's the thing though. This is why I'm, why I decided to document this experience. Cause I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be emotional. It's gonna be uh, eventful and and I, I just want to remember it, okay? So this is a Turkish brand, Dr. Akter, uh, Atker, Dr. Atker. Everything is in Turkish, and Turkish is not one of those languages that even resembles English. I'm totally lost. I, I tried, I tried to like look up certain words here to like in the directions or the ingredients like oh for example two excuse my pronunciation yumurta um i'm pretty sure that's the thing i i looked up and yumurta meant glass let me look that up that's an egg yumurta is an egg 350 milliliters or 1.5 to 2 glasses of milk Hold up, hold up. What's a glass, right? Is that an accident? Is that a mistake? I'm searching for further explanation and I found this website called Turkish Cooking Measurements Explained, okay? For people like me that find cool box mixes and don't know what to do with them. So, so he's like, do you ever come across a Turkish recipe that screams make me but then gets stumped on the measurements? Actually, <laughs> yeah, it seems like a great recipe and you want to get down to the nitty gritty of cooking, but then you start to read one glass of this, one teaspoon of that. <laughs> she like knows exactly, she is in my head. Whether you've been taught metric or imperial, nothing prepared you for the simple Turkish say versus totli versus yemek spoon debacle. Now I'm understanding Turkish measurements are in a league of their own. They have the glass. They have probably a different type of teaspoon. Look at this. One Turkish teaspoon is equivalent to half of a U.S. teaspoon. Like if I followed their stuff exactly, this would have probably tasted terrible. I'm not sure if it's going to taste good if I do follow it exactly, to be perfectly honest. One yemek is a Turkish dinner spoon, and that's equivalent to one tablespoon. Oh, dinner spoon. That's the big spoon, that's the tablespoon, because teaspoon would be like the breakfast spoon. <laughs> no, no, because their teaspoon is one totli kaziki, kaziki, and that's a Turkish dessert spoon. I mean, I, I find this all very interesting and I'm learning right now, but to, uh, oh, oh, and, and a water, did I say water glass? Yeah, honestly, I don't know what it refers to, but it's 200 milliliters of liquid and they refer to it as a water glass. Like we have cups, they have water glass and a water glass is 200 milliliters. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool, but it is very confusing, especially with me being a person that likes very specific instructions, especially when it comes to baking. So this is why we're here, because that should be really great. Not only am I like 
changing milliliters into into cups or ounces uh what yeah i'm i'm uh, i'm already confused so i found a video of this um from dr otker the o dr otker channel and it has two million views and i don't know when that's important but this is very popular maybe in turkey um and after this video it might be very popular here in america because i'm here to just kind of clear some things up so let's let's get started okay i have a few things out already that i pretty sure i need but you know we'll figure this out as we go oh so i'm going to start the video it has some banging music like really hold up she opened the box so let's do that and she took this out i'm like actually this is thrilling i have no idea crema i'm gonna guess it's like the cream part crema karishima crema karishima i just want to say that that one i didn't catch and i i don't know what that okay that looks like papers that's that. And that's this. Okay, okay, okay. So it says here, you want to preheat your oven? I'm going to wait on preheating the oven because I have a feeling this is going to be, it's going to be a while till I need the oven. It's going to get hot. Okay. 170 degrees Celsius. It is a dressing bag. Oh my god, this, see, it was in 2013, it came with parchment paper. Good thing I have my own. Come on. Yeah, three and one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to grab a pan. I mean, I don't think I'm going to need this box. Okay. Get some parchment paper. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We'll put this on the side. She goes ahead and opens up the un karishme. karishme. Wait, I want to try to learn how to, I want to try to learn Turkish as we go, because I really want to visit Turkey. So let's just get started now. This looks like the chocolate. Yep, and we got our bowl, and we are. Iki yumurta. Um, I heard her say, um, morta, morta. Because you read it, you, Martha, but I think, like, the you is said pretty quickly. Anyways, there, that's two eggs. Uh, two eggs, yeah. Okay. I chose this one because it had freckles on it. BRB. Oh, but hold up. I think I actually do need to bake the cake quickly so i forget because like that's the first part like tiramisu is layered 170 degrees celsius i believe that's 350 degrees fahrenheit let's find out 338 fahrenheit pretty sure that rounds up to 350 so i'm gonna do that wait do i have anything in the oven In New York, you store things in the oven. Because you have no room. Okay, 350. Okay, let's move fast before we start getting hot. Okay, two eggs. Yarım çay bardağı süs. 50 milliliters. Okay, that's in English. 50 milliliters of yarım çay bardağı süs. I am trying to learn Turkish while I like to multitask. <laughs> but anyways, 50 milliliters. Okay, let's find out what that is. 
okay? 50 milliliters of yarn chai. I'm pretty sure that's milk. 50 milliliters to cups. 3.38. Yeah, you see, if I followed the English, and but then the cooking, the, the, the Turkish measurements explain. Oh, okay, okay, here. No way. Oh boy, what am I doing? 50 milliliters. So it's just 50 milliliters, 50 milliliters. That's all I have to do. Okay, that three and a half. Let, let, you know what? They're winging it. So are we. Wait, I have some, I have some, I have a tablespoon of this. Yeah, we're not, we're not scared of being exact. We, we don't need to be exact, okay? That, that's what we'll, we're saying now. One, two, three, huh, and a half. You think I was, I was gonna go grab the half tablespoon? No. 50 grams of yumshak margarine. That's margarine, 50 grams. Now what's that? 50 grams, four tablespoons. Scoop. Oh, how do you do this? Okay. Just don't want to overload it now. How many do they say? Four? I probably should soften it. Yeah, it's four, but this, we like the challenge as well. It's usually just butter or oil, so I like it. I like it. That's old school. Margarine's an old school thing. Might be a lot tastier. It's gonna be a lot tastier. Okay, I think we're about to mix, but I don't know. But I'm ready for it. Yeah, we are. Oh, we're going for three dakika sharpen. Oh my god, I just already learned that C is a ch chirpin. We, we really want to whip it though. That's probably three minutes. Alright. Oh my god. What time is it? 7.25? Alright, two more dakikas. like a chocolate mousse. Very nice. Okay, every last little smidgen in American units. One smidgen is a drippity drop. Um, yeah, so she spreads it. What a lovely texture we have here. Ooh. Okay, trying to do that as well and evenly as I can, right? Let's just... Yeah, she kind of goes all the way there. Fifteen to twenty-five the kika. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the kika's minute, but this time I'm really gonna look that up. Yeah, I'm just gonna listen to her. Oh, I didn't even tell you how long I put it in. I don't think. Okay, whatever. I'm very grateful for this video. 
Okay, let's do that. 15. Here's a timer now. Layers. Oh, she's done with the cake. That's cool. Or not. milliliters oh which is 1.5 to 2 glasses of pretty sure milk uh about one and a half that's 1.47 okay cool so let's do that one and a half yeah i just using some plain unsweetened oat milk pretty sure that's fine um one and a half I don't know what we're making. Like, this is the exciting thing. So you should just fill it up a glass and then filling up half that glass, eyeballing. I love it. Hold on a tick. Here, I, it looks like there's instant coffee being used and didn't come in any of the packets. So one to two yemeks of instant coffee, which gladly I have. One yemek kasiki or a Turkish dinner spoon is equivalent to one Tablespoon. All right, what are we doing? Here, one, that's one tablespoon. That's two tablespoons. Okay. That's the coffee. What else? Two to three. Oh my, okay. A little backstory. Doesn't really matter, does it? But, um, and I don't even know what that word is, to be honest. It's just like all over the place. The box says one set of instructions, this video is saying another one, and the website is saying another one. And we're just kind of going with it. But this is the yogurt part, I think. So it says Levna, which is a kind of yogurt. And it, I think you can use regular yogurt you probably use greek yogurt maybe you could just use cream too but i had access to levna actually at the same market that i bought this uh cake mix from so i got levna so you know what i can have it just like i would greek yogurt there's probiotics in it it's, it's delicious it's kefir cheese it's a cultured milk kefir is a cultured milk it's tangy oh good stuff so we're gonna put it in there two three mx which is tablespoons. One, two, three. Oh my God, I'm like hoping, I hope I'm doing this right. I don't even know, should I have put yogurt in that? That's what it looked like. It's okay. I don't know, I don't think it's supposed to be that thick. Oh God, then what was that? I don't know what that was. Okay, it's fine, it won't. That doesn't hurt. All right, we'll wait till everything is dissolved. Oh, oh, no, I meant to turn it off, not go full blast. So, ooh, it smells delicious. Um. And how much liquid do we have? I need to put it in a separate bowl and then use this bowl for something else. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a big bowl. It's maybe like too big of a bowl, but whatever. Ooh, the cake. It's cooking. Okay, seriously? This looks good. <laughs> I'm not joking, guys. This is gonna be maybe tasty. Can I try it? There you go. No. Okay. Okay. Now, 400 mil. How much milk is in this thing? 400 milliliters. Oh, whatever. Oh my god. I think I messed up a little bit, but it's like fine. Okay. 400 milliliters. So, wait. That's um, two cups of milk. One. Two. Okay. 
taşımını ilave edin. It's time for this one. So the crema karışma. So I wonder what this stuff is. I mean, it's gonna make the cream part. Ooh, it smells really good. Cake should be done. It smells like vanilla bean, like malted something. I don't know. Yeah, cool. Ooh. No, no. This is gonna be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Um, let me check to see if this cake is baked. That looks about right. Ooh. You know, I think it's good, but for some weird reason, I need to leave it in for two more minutes and then we'll take it out but the oven's off, okay? That's just my instincts. And just mix it. So it's gonna be a, a bit, three minutes. Yeah, I messed up. This is the part where the lemon is, so whatever. <laughs> what was that other stuff then? white creamy looking stuff to the the coffee mix and i'm like what else could it be i don't know more milk all right let me take the cake out and let that cool Really good. It honestly looks a little better than the video. <laughs> 200, let's just add the lemon. 200 grams of lemon. Now what's that? 200 grams. One cup. It looks like it, yeah. It's a lot of lemon, huh? We're just eyeballing things though. Yeah, I forget like how much tiramisu this is actually gonna make. I'm gonna have to knock on the neighbor's door with a lovely treat. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> Both my neighbors will hate me and I will be very disappointed and just like all bad things will happen if this tiramisu is not good and and Turkey will be disappointed in me and then I'll never be welcome to the country and, <laughs> and I can't handle it. Okay. Mm. Wow, and that's great. Oh my gosh, so tangy, I love it. Okay. Dude, thick. It's getting weird looking now. The love is making it clumpy. I hope that fixes up. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm just very distracted by the clumps. this in half wow the skills what do I do wait how do I do it I'm gonna transfer I want to like flip it over because maybe like the underside is more porous because it looks like we're supposed to soak it, but um, it's too late. Can I do it? Can I still do it? I did it. No fear. So she's soaking this all with the liquid, the coffee liquid. And I'm pretty sure we want to use half. You know what? If I have too much liquid, I'm going to drink this. 
like I said, sounds like a great coffee drink. And I'm telling you, if I find out that I love a little Levna in my coffee, and get probiotics from it and everything, I just discovered a new drink. And I'm gonna spread it to the world. Oh, thumb. Got some weak hands. One more. Okay, well, it looks like, yeah, she does end up using half, and I have like 80 more cups worth. Um, and then, yeah, so wait, 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 what does she do? She puts. A little mushy, nasty though. Okay, maybe I added too much coffee. It'll be fine. Whatever, I'm gonna eat this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it has to be really bad for me not to eat this. Yeah, this looks not like that. And then we add the other piece of cake on top and do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, coffee stuff. Uh -huh. This is box tiramisu. What are you expecting? I don't think I'm gonna add much more of this. Yeah, it's time for the cream. I think there's another layer, right? Okay, so I have a sifter, but I'm, it's too complicated to get it. So I'm going to put this chocolate powder. You know, it's not like the prettiest thing anyway, so we're good. I mean, it's gorgeous and I love you. Okay, so look, <laughs> it's the same. All right, so let's, this is the cocoa powder. Well, obviously, tiramisu is enjoyed best cooled, you know, in the refrigerator, but I'll, I mean, I'll try it. I'm not even gonna cut into it. I'm just gonna like take a spoonful and let you know. I'll be real, but obviously it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be as good as if it were cool. I'll try to be like honest about this. Okay, this is, yeah. Okay, we're just, oh, you have a spoon. Okay, moment of truth, here it goes. <laughs> it's a big bite. Yeah, okay. That's pretty yummy. Let me think about it compared to like homemade tiramisu. It is really good. The cake part's good. I like the way it turned out. It's like moist and it's like a good chocolate cake mix, cake. And the, the cream part's good. It's a little bit tangy, just like it is with the regular tiramisu too. Like the mar mascarpone cheese that you use. Levna really works nicely in here. Um, what else? Oh, and the coffee, it's not overpowering. Let me try some more. This is good. <laughs> I never doubted you. Wow, so this is gonna be like at least five times better after I refrigerate it for a little bit. And I seriously can eat this right now. I'll give him a thumbs up. I trust this doctor with my life. This guy knows tiramisu at least. And now I have extra coffee that I'm gonna pour in a cup Heat it up, just gonna, right there. Put in your little mug. Let's do that over here. Am I doing this? Oh yeah, put, look at this, the tricks. She's got tricks. Put it in your mug, put it in the microwave, and you got evening coffee, right? A little pick-me-up with your slice of tiramisu. No, that's good. <laughs> okay, 
I'm so happy I documented this. I don't know how much of a disaster it was compared to what I thought it was going to be. But, uh, I mean, we made it. Like, this is done. We made it. This is not English at all. And I don't speak or read Turkish. And I think we did really well. Yeah, cool stuff. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. And, um... I mean, like, I want to, I want to feel like more inspired. Maybe, maybe I'll like, that's what you got to do. You got to be like open-minded. You want to walk through market and you see something in the corner of your eye and it's something you've never seen before. Take a chance, take a chance, let yourself be inspired and learn a new language while you're at it. Learn about a new culture. See, assimilation, America, Turkey, Italy, and more. Where is this from? New Jersey. All right, guys, uh, comment and like and subscribe, you know? That'd be nice, because we can we could uh, be online friends. Look who I brought. I brought Figgy over because we got to do a proper goodbye. I'm going to show her the tiramisu. She's wiggling because she's like, box tiramisu. Have some respect, but no, it was really good. All right. Say bye, Figgy. Say bye to everybody. That's her put me down, Yon. Okay. Bye, guys.